good morning students now is the time for our science class and we are in chapter 2 habitats of animals in our previous two classes i already discussed the whole chapter and uh, in our previous class i discussed about the objective type question answers on this chapter today i'll give you some question answers and definitions on this chapter and before that uh, let's have a, a recap Let's have a look back that on this chapter uh, for your convenience. Okay, so you know I'm telling you the main points of this chapter. Uh, we already already we learned that a habitat is a place where a plant or animal lives and gets food, water, shelter, and the four types of habitats of terrestrial animals are forests, deserts. mountain polar region four habitats and the two types of habitats are ocean and freshwater for aquatic animals hibernation are uh, we all uh, 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 we learned that hibernation is the state uh, of animals where they go into deep sleep to save themselves from severe winters and survive without eating much and migration is the movement of birds and animals to far off places to stay away from harsh weather or look for food and a safe place for their breeding and you can see here the concept map habitats terrestrial animals habitat and aquatic animals habitat. Firstly, terrestrial animals habitat. What are these? These are firstly forest, and the animals who lives in forests are lion, tiger, monkey, elephant, etc. There are much more animals in them. And in desert, camel, lizards, etc. And in mountain, black bear, big horn, sheep, raccoon. And in polar region, polar bears, penguin, walrus, any type of seal, many types of animals they live there. And in ocean, whale, octopus, jellyfish, and many types of marine fish. You know, they are so much colorful. And in freshwater, dark goose, fish, crabs, etc. So this was the concept map about our total chapter. And now. Go to the question answer. Okay. Now, objective type questions already we uh, I discussed in our previous class, and today answer the following questions first. Okay. So number one, question number one: Why animals need habitat? Habitat is the place. where plants and animals live every living organism need shelter where they can live with their young ones safely for that animals need habitat okay i'm telling you again habitat is the place where plants and animals live every living organisms needs shelter where they can live with their young ones safely for that animals need habitat okay and the next is why there are different types of habitat are there in earth why there are different types of habitat there in earth and answer is different types of animals need different habitats for example fishes need clean water to live you know and a tiger or lion needs forest so there are different types of habitats on earth such as forests deserts mountains oceans etc i'm telling you again 
Different types of animals need different habitats. For example, fishes need clean water to live. And a tiger or lion needs forest. So, there are different types of habitats on earth such as forest, desert, mountains, oceans, etc. Now, question number 3. Name the different types of habitats of terrestrial animals. What is terrestrial animals? I am al uh, already tell, told you before. It is land animals. Simply, we called it as land animals. There are four types of habitats of terrestrial animals those are forests deserts mountains and polar regions so there are four types of terrestrial habitat habitat four types of habitats of terrestrial animals forest desert mountain and polar region now how animals live in forests and the answer is animals like lion tiger and bear live in caves monkeys and birds live on trees some animals like rabbit snake earthworm etc make underground burrows in the forest floor and live in it i'm telling you again animals like lion tiger and bear live in caves monkeys and birds live on trees some animals like rabbit snakes earthworm etc make underground burrows in the forest floor and live in it okay next is question number five how does a camel survive in a desert? Answer is camels are well adapted for survival in the desert. Their large flat feet spread their weight on the sand. You know that camels are heavy animals and they uh, uh, for uh, their uh, uh, spreading their weight on the uh, sand sand uh, they, the, they have the large feet okay and their hump their hump on back you know camels are uh, very popular for their hump on backs their hump stores a lot of fat which they can break down into water and energy in need for that, they can travel miles after miles without food and water. When they travel uh, in the desert miles after miles, then they can break their, uh, they can get their energy through the, their uh, hump, fat in their hump. Okay. Next is question number six. How animals in polar regions survive? Life in the polar regions of Arctic and Antarctica is very difficult. You know the two poles are, North Pole is called Arctic region and South Pole is called as Antarctic region. Both the polar regions, both climate of both the polar regions are very difficult. That means that there is very much cold. So, I am telling you again that uh, life in the polar regions of Arctic and Antarctica is very difficult. In this extreme cold conditions, thick fur on the skin and layers of fat under the skin helps them to keep warm. So, the thick fur on the skin and layers of fat under the skin helps the animals of polar region uh, to survive well and uh, i am telling you again the example of some polar uh, animals of some polar regions are polar bear penguin walrus seal etc 
they have thick fur on their body and fat under their skin and now it is question number seven what are the different types of aquatic habitats give example there are two different types of aquatic habitats there are two different types of aquatic habitats you know it is ocean for first one is ocean and then fresh water you know that ocean has salty water and fresh water normal water in salty ocean water there live well octopus jellyfish etc and in fresh water like ponds and ditches animals like duck goose fish crabs and turtle are found so in salty ocean water they live well octopus jellyfish etc and in fresh water like ponds and ditches animals like duck goose fish crabs and turtles are found next question number 8 why african elephants migrate to find food find food during the wet and dry season african elephants migrate in dry hot, uh, in wet and dry season they can't find food there uh, uh, they where they live and for that re reason they migrate uh, other part uh, uh, other regions to uh, have their food to find food okay and the next one is next type of question is define the following firstly habitat area in which an animal naturally lives so definition of habitat is area in which an animal naturally lives next number 2 aquatic animals animals that live in water are called aquatic animals for example fish whale turtle etc okay so animals that live in water are called aquatic animals and the examples are fish whale turtle etc next is terrestrial animals animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals several times i have told you that land animals are called terrestrial animals and water animals are called aquatic animals so uh, animals who live on land are called terrestrial animals for example lion tiger monkey next is hibernation hibernation is the state of animals where they go into deep sleep to save themselves from severe winters and survive without eating much in any uh, harsh weather they go into deep sleep to survive themselves and uh, before that they eat much more food and store that to uh, break it, break it down to get energy so hibernation is the state of animals where they go into deep sleep to help save themselves from severe winters and survive without eating much lizards crocodile uh, etc they hibernate migration next migration is the movement of birds and animals from one region to another in order to escape unfavorable conditions okay for uh, they, uh, they migrate for in search of food they can migrate for breeding and uh, to avoid any harsh uh, weather etc next is give reasons for the following next type of questions number 1 a grasshopper need a big habitat the answer is a grasshopper needs a big space where it can hop and gets lives to it okay next question 2 black bears live in the lower part of the mountains answer on the mountain 
oxygen is scarce it is very cold there and sun is very harsh this environment does not support life so animals like black bears live in the lower part of the mountain next question 3 lizards eat more during autumn season lizards eat more that usual during more than usual sorry more than usual during autumn and store it as fat to use during this winter uh, their winter hibernation period question 4 flamingos migrate to india when it is winter in their habitat Flamingos are one of the most beautiful migratory birds in India. Indian subcontinent is the largest breeding ground for them. So they come here every winter. Okay? So this was the question answers and we completed it all and you all I am telling you you all write this question answers on your school copy and remember all those and read the chapter several times read the question answers several times okay so in our next class i will go to uh, another new chapter and till then bye